been a while so I could actually hear my turn signal indicators. So I decided to give this a try. Please remember this video is just my thoughts and my opinions. I'm not a healthcare provider or a hearing specialist. I'm just an older guy with a little high frequency hearing loss. So please keep that in mind as we go forward in this video. Well, I'm on my way to the grocery store and what a great opportunity to test the hearing aids feature of iOS 18.1 with my AirPod Pros 2 earphones. One of the things that I find really handy is being able to adjust the hearing aid parameters through the control center on the fly. It's really nice to be able to change the amount of ambient sound, the balance, and the tone or the brightness. Of course, the volume as well right from the control center. And having separate controls for media volume and for hearing aid volume right there make it really nice. A lot of times when I go to the store, just to help me manage stress, I like to have some tunes playing pretty low in the background through my AirPods. And having these two controls separate make it easy to get the balance between what I hear and the music just right. And that ambient sound reduction is so handy. It helps keep the clutter out but let's important things like sirens come right through. Well, I better get in the store and get my list before I get in trouble at home. My name is John and I make videos about how to make these little devices we carry around with us every day even more powerful. Well, as you can see, I really enjoyed the hearing aid feature. So here's how I set it up. Now I downloaded a beta version of 18.1. It's the release candidate version. So it should be very similar, if not identical, to the general release coming this week. For the hearing aids feature to work, you need to have AirPods Pro 2 earphones. And if you've had them in your case and they're fully charged and they've been near your phone recently, they should have automatically updated to the latest firmware version in the background. You can check that by placing your earphones in your ear or opening the case next to your phone. Then go to settings and scroll down to find your AirPods. Once you found them, click the little eye circle at the right and then scroll down to see your firmware version. If you need more help with the firmware update, please check the description below. There's a link to the Apple support page for AirPod firmware. If you already have AirPod Pro 2 earphones paired with your phone, once you've updated to iOS 18.1, Place them in your ears or open the case next to your phone. Then go to settings and find your AirPods. Click on the right arrow and select take the hearing test. Now if your AirPod Pro 2s are new, here's how to pair them. Hold your AirPod Pro case next to your phone and open the lid. You should see a picture like this on the screen. Now hold the button on the back of the case. It's a little bit hard to see, but you know when you press it. Then you'll see the different options displayed. For this demo, I just decided to set them all up later. Now I'm ready to take my hearing test. It gives us a setup screen and we can get started from here. The test takes about 10 minutes. It tells you to put your AirPods in your ears. Then it asks you some pre-qualifying questions. Next, it will ask you to find a quiet place where you can take the test. Oh, and by the way, I learned this the hard way. If there's too much noise anytime during the test, it will pause the test and you'll probably have to start it over. The next step in the process is to make sure your AirPods are fitting comfortably and snugly. They'll play a little audio jingle that makes sure your earphones are a good fit and that the noise level is acceptable for the test. Next, it reminds you that it's going to put your phone in the do not disturb mode so you won't be bothered during the test. Now the test will play tones at different volumes and frequencies. It will give you a reassurance that if you miss one, not to worry because they'll play them again. The test starts with your left ear first, and all you do is listen for the test tones and tap the screen when you hear them. Now some of the tones can be really soft. Once you're done with your left ear, it'll repeat the same test, but this time for your right ear. When the test is completely done, it will show you the results, and you can dive really far down into those results through the menus on the screen. When you're done reviewing your results, tap Update Hearing Aid to get started with turning the hearing aid on and making final adjustments. It shows you a little reminder screen to let you know that it might take a little time to get used to your hearing aids. And then it reminds you that you can control them 
through the control center on your phone. You get to the control center by swiping down diagonally from the top of your phone. Now don't forget, for your AirPod 2 Pros to show up in the control center, you need to be wearing them. You know, one of the biggest advantages of the hearing aid feature in iOS 18.1 with AirPod Pro 2s is that they're seamlessly integrated into the phone and you can control all the parameters on the fly right from the control center. But there is a little bit of setup to that, so I'll walk you through it right now. So to get to the control center, of course, you swipe diagonally down from the upper right of your screen. And then once you're there, if you tap on your AirPods volume control, you'll see that you have a slider for your AirPods and then another hearing aid slider so that you can adjust the volume of your media separately from the volume of your hearing assistance. Now that's really cool, but what if you wanted to make more fine-tuned adjustments? Well, you can do that too. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap once to get back to the main control center. And now I'm gonna hit the little plus sign at the upper left, right up there. So I'm gonna tap that, and I'm gonna add a control right there at the bottom of the screen. And tap that. And what I wanna add is the hearing control. So I'm gonna go up to search and I'm gonna type hearing. And there it is, it's the little ear icon. So I'll just tap on that. And as you can see, it's added it to the bottom of my control center. So that's good. Now I wanna just make it a little bigger, so I'm gonna drag it to the right with that little handle. And now I'm gonna just tap away from that on the screen. And now I have a hearing devices button right there on my control center. So let's go ahead and tap that. And it shows me these different options. And one of them is hearing assistance. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that. That opens up an entire menu of things I can do. I can tell it that, you know, I want hearing assistance with my phone, but I don't want it with media. And of course, the transparency mode, I think is a holdover from the previous version of iOS. I think that's probably gonna end up saying hearing assistance, but I'm on a beta version of 18.1. I don't know if that'll be fixed for the general release or not. Anyway, that turns on and off the hearing assistance. Now there's a little bug there. If you tap it, it does turn it off, but the check mark doesn't go away. If you close the screen and then reopen it, you'll see the check mark is gone. And then if I tap it again to turn on hearing assistance, there's no check mark, but if I close the screen and reopen it, the check mark appears. So I think that'll all get cleaned up in the next few releases of software updates. But as you can see, not only do I have amplification here, but I have left-right balance, which is definitely working, and I have tone. So what tone is, is like the brightness of the sound. So if I turn it toward the sun, it gets brighter. So every little piece of sibilance is just right in my ears. It's a little too much. So I'm gonna back it down to about the middle. And then this ambient noise reduction is really cool because you can control how much background sound goes away. And I really hope at some point they add this control to the shortcuts app on the phone so that you can actually have a little shortcut to set different levels of ambient noise reduction on the fly. So you could do that right from your home screen or from your side button if they do end up making that an actual shortcut. In the meantime, you just have to go to the control center, make sure you add the hearing control, and then you can just open that and adjust how much ambient noise reduction that you have. It's really handy when you're in a crowded doctor's office or in a restaurant, or like I was at the grocery store, where I just re I really wanted to tune out as much ambient noise as I could while I was playing a little music in the background. So. I find this to be very, very handy. And then if I just tap away, I get back to the control center. And then of course, if I tap away again, I just get back to my home screen. Now, I built a little shortcut that lets me open the control center from the shortcut. That way I can call it with Siri. And 
it's totally optional if you want to build it. I'll do that right at the end of the video. I'll show you how to build that shortcut. I really hope this helps and I really appreciate you watching, especially if you watched all the way here to the end. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Okay, here's that shortcut. If I can find it, I think it's this one, show control. Let me open it. Yep. Dismiss Siri and continue. Show control center and stop the shortcut. That's all there is to it. So if you're not familiar with how to build shortcuts, there's another link in the description below that will walk you through how to actually build shortcuts. And all you have to do is put those three actions in and then you can actually call the control center from Siri, which is very handy. Or you can just make a home screen icon like I did and just get to it from the home screen. It's not on this page. I'll go over to the page that I normally use and I have it right here as a little gray magnifying glass guy, I call it. And when I tap it, it just opens up the control screen. I just find that to be handy. And let's just see. I don't know if it works while I'm recording, but I'll see if I can call it from Siri. Hey, Siri. No, Siri doesn't work while I'm recording. All right. We tried. See you on the next one. Thanks again. Bye. Oh, by the way, this is an Osmo Pocket 3, which I'm just totally enamored with right now. So you'll have to bear with me until I get over it. All right. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, yeah, it's the creator combo. I ought to take a picture of this just so you see what uh, how I'm shooting this. You might find it to be interesting. I go to photos right here, sitting in my driveway. That's my little rig right there. I'll put links in the description to all the gadgetry there. Thanks again. Bye. <music>